wanted to set up something which was like a fast record label, releasing records, just bang, ching, 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 just like on point, bang, ching, 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 ching. More rocks, more records, more music. You gotta credit James Lavelle with being the first person outside of our crew who really believed in us and believed in our sound genuinely and was able to give us a shot and put our music out. So, you know, shout out to James Lavelle. The thing that was dope about James is that he just had a vision. The Moac sound to me was one of just forward movement. I'll credit him with being one of the truly great A&R men of the 90s. At the moment, people that are signed to my wax are Black Alicious. A doobie and a skin, funky break beats and rhyme. Attica Blues. <laughs> Dr. Oxygen. Dr. Octagon. Paramedic fetus of the East. And the funk mob. RPM. The Psychonauts. <laughs> DJ Crush. The Moax office. There's so many people come and going all the time. It was like a meeting ground for all these different types of music and from all over the world. What's the secret of your success? If you send me a cheque, <laughs> it's a large sum of money to uh, 167 Caledonian Road, London, I'll tell all you. No, um, the secret of my success is a very strong identity. I basically was a famous graffiti artist when I was 18. And, you know, if you ask people, like, you heard of Futura, like, oh, shit, he's, he's dope. I was recognized. I had no success. I mean, I had no, I was broke. And then it turns out James knew a lot about our culture. We just started talking about what we could do together.